Hello everybody! I'm going to teach you the first song I usually teach every guitar student that I teach how to play. First off, all we're going to do is we're going to use our first finger for this uh, particular song here. And uh, we're not going to worry about a pick for right now. We're just going to use our thumbs. If you, if you can use a pick, awesome. But if you give me a thumbs up with your right hand, just relax your hand a little bit, give me a thumbs up, relax. And we're going to strum the first three strings of the guitar. So we, we count. One two, three. And if I do a little bit higher, maybe you can see the strings a little bit better. One, two, three. So we're going to strum the first three strings of the guitar. Take my first finger, and we're going to put it, the first chord we're going to learn is going to be our first finger on the first fret of the first string. And these little middle bars are called frets. And what we want to do is make sure we're right above the fret. We don't want to go over it. So here is above the fret, that's on the fret, and that's over. We're going to be right above the fret, as close to it. If you're touching this, is barely touching. As close to the fret as possible without touching it and without going over like that. So that's where you want to be at in that particular one here. And we're going to strum that first three strings, and that's how it sounds. Okay, good. We're going to call this the G7 chord. Now we're going to take our first finger, we're going to put it on the first fret of the second string. Okay, see that there? And see how my finger is arced? Because I don't, want to, I don't want to touch the other string that's adjacent to it. I want to make sure that vibrates also. So this string, that string, and that string vibrates. So these three strings vibrate. Again, it gets close to the fret without going over. That's where we want to be right there. And that's the first three strings also. That's called the C chord. So let's see, here's a G7 chord, which is the first string, first fret. And the C chord is the first fret of the second string. Okay, so this is what's called the 1 and the 5, 7 in the key of C. So here we go. Here's the C chord. That's on the second string, first fret. And the G7 chord is on the first finger of the first fret. Good. Now, I'm going to teach you my favorite song. Be a good listener, everybody. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Now, the reason why this is my favorite song is because every time you say the word whole, you change the chord. Except for the last time, which is hands. Watch again. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Good. Let's play along now. One, two, ready, play. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Good. Hope you enjoyed that. With these two chords, you can play a lot of really fun songs, uh, such as uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, anything that has a two chord song we will usually fit this. So like I do, Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, little lamb, Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And there's so many other songs you can play as well. I'll teach you one more quick one. Row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. And uh, I think a lot of you guys are using your ears as well. Awesome. Have a great day, everybody. And keep on practicing. Look for some more of these uh, simple guitar videos out there for you.